Well, hello there. Uh, my name is Jamie J with Bottleneck Virtual Assistance, where we help stop the bottleneck in your business. I am the managing director and founder of Bottleneck Virtual Assistance and, and absolutely love uh, what we're doing here. Um, every day is exciting. It's challenging. Um, but it's, it, and it's never really the same thing. We're always working and striving uh, to do something bigger and better um, and uh, work on exactly what our challenges are within our own organizations, uh, organization. Um, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, the topic today that I want to be talking about is personal versus work where to draw the line and what are some of the common personal issues that are being used as excuses for poor employee performance at work and how to address them as the client. So hopefully this might help you out if you have some challenges. So no matter if you're in a brick and mortar and you're working with people that you can literally look right to your left or just to your right and, and talk to in person, have in-person meetings, uh, remote workers or virtual assistants um, are very much human beings <laughs> that have the same challenges that uh, we do in a brick and mortar, um, have, have some of the same challenges, I should say. Uh, so we need to be able to, as business leaders, understand um, and, and differentiate um, or I guess clearly define what their job roles and responsibilities are in order to create a line for them not to pass. Now, one of the biggest things I do, uh, or I believe in here with our culture is um, leading with kindness um, and communication is definitely key. Um, do we talk about personal aspects of our lives? You betcha, 100% we do. And the reason why is because I want to provide, my goal is to, I want us to be a family. I want us to take care of one another and protect one another uh, like, like we are a family. Now, there are certain lines that we don't wanna uh, uh, cross. Um, some of the things that, and, and this needs to be set early on expectation wise. Um, you need to, as a client, I'm speaking to you as, as somebody that hires a virtual assistant. If you are hiring a virtual assistant, you need to clearly define not only what the expectations of their job roles and responsibilities are, but what are the expectations as far as what your cultural culture is. Um, there are a couple of things that, that we like to talk about. Um, there's things like, um, you know what, don't, don't ask us for money to get your aunt out of the hospital. Right, they're working here uh, for pay, um, and it's just those are just things that we have to be careful about. And I know this may be blatant and it's out there, but we have to be very careful about crossing these lines right there. So that could be a line uh, that you don't want to cross. Another one is like when we talk, um, do we introduce personal aspects? Sure. What was a personal win? Well, um, Yang, uh, she might say. Uh, you know what, my kid uh, did great in their karate tournament and they won the karate tournament. That's fantastic. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Where it starts becoming a problem is when personal, personal matters start taking over. Maybe the, if you're using Slack or your project management, now all of a sudden it's starting to be more personal, more personal conversations are going on rather than work conversations. There needs to be a line there. So how do you define what's personal and what's not? Oh, um, uh, this, um, uh, let me see. Uh, what's an example? Oh, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm going out with a friend or whatever. There's no need for that in the workplace. Um, now you can do that offline and it's fantastic that people at work build relationships, but take that stuff offline, out, outside of the business hours. What needs to happen is you got to keep it professional in, in the business entity, um, whether it's in a brick and mortar or in a project management tool uh, that we're using. So we want to bring our personalities into work because we do want to learn about everybody, but we want to keep that at 
at a minimum um, so as to not create any kind of inconsistencies or um, any, any trouble within the, within the work environment, right? It's so hard for me to say, um, but that's why you take the time to write out, document what your feelings are. You're the business leader, you're the owner, document the way you want to see your business ran and clearly communicate that to your staff. You will see huge changes in the way that your culture is driven as long as you communicate your expectations effectively. And the way we do it here a lot of the times, I may say it a lot, but we also document quite a bit. So if we can document our expectations, the line is, there's no black and white, or there's no gray. It's black, it's white. It's the same way that we use for uh, job roles and responsibilities. We give them a certain area to work it within. They can do what they want in that area. As soon as they step out of bounds, we need to have a discussion to find out how we can help them uh, get back in bounds. Um, but other than that, they're on their merry way. And that's how a business should be ran because that empowers them to want to show up, to want to give their best because their best is respected. And I respect every single person in my organization. Uh, so hopefully this kind of helps you out. It was a unique kind of idea and conversation and one that's pretty challenging and difficult to talk about, but it's definitely one of those things that I think you need to address um, as you're building your company or um, you're getting ready to scale up, um, or if you're finding challenges within your organization now. So my name is Jamie J. I am the managing director and uh, founder of Bottleneck Virtual Assistants. I want to help you stop the bottleneck in your business. So reach out to us. You can reach out to us by going to uh, bot bottleneck. Uh, dot online and learning more about us there. If you want to set up a free time to talk with uh, myself or one of our amazing uh, team members here, uh, you can go to bottleneck dot online forward slash inquiry, and that'll get you going towards a free consultation. I really look forward to answering any questions that you have. So please feel free to let me know. Uh, you can email us anytime info at bottleneck dot online. And I hope you have a fantastic day and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much.